The project we're about to announce has been a long, long time in the making, and you're about to see why. Um, in terms of aviation, we're starting to tread on very, very hallowed ground. We're very pleased to announce the Bremel Wright Flyer. The first flight was the event of the century. It not only redefined our world, it redefined the human spirit. It literally took us from the sands of Kitty Hawk to the lunar dust of the moon. For hundreds of years, man looked to the sky trying to figure out how to fly. So how was it these two unassuming bicycle builders from Dayton, Ohio succeed where the greatest scientific minds of the world fell short. Wilbur Wright, he was the theoretician, and Orville Wright was uh, someone who could take his brother's ideas and make it into something that you could hold in your hand. They developed three things that are still part of, you know, very basic aeronautical principles today. They understood the airplane had to balance on three axes in the air. Roll was the one that was very hard to understand. Um, so they developed a system of wing warping where the shape of the flyer's wings actually changed in the air just like birds' wings do. They thought about power and they thought about push. And they knew they needed some sort of um, propeller, but to date no propellers had ever been um, invented, at least for aeronautical purposes. So the brothers, by hand, carved out of wood, propellers that have only been um, improved upon by modern day standards, eight or 10%. They were both very interested in, in making sure of being credited for the things they had achieved. And when Uncle Will died in 1912, Orville um, more or less had the spotlight of the world on him. Orville was very mindful that everything about what they discovered was done by a team. Following that historic flight in 1903, the Wright Flyer was recovered for the aircraft was then shipped to the Science Museum in London where it rested for a number of years. It's that material from the recovering that's being used in these watches. And that material's only ever been given to presidents and the likes of astronauts. Neil Armstrong, for example, took it to the moon on his first ever mission. And it's the only time this material is going to be used in a project of this scale. So this is a very fitting project for us, a world first in aviation, but a world first for Bremont, the first in-house movement designed and built in the UK. So it's incredibly appropriate for this to go into this particular watch. As with all our limited editions, there's a large charitable element to it. In this case, um, a significant proportion of the uh, funds raised will go to the restoration of uh, Wilbur and Orville's family home uh, to be opened as a museum and we're really pleased to be part of that. The Wright brothers were amazingly pragmatic engineers and in watch terms we can kind of relate to that. For an aviation inspired watch this is going to be a hard one to beat. <laughs>